Hey there! Haven't seen you in a while. Shall I prepare your usual order? A long black? Yes, please. How's business lately? Not too good. The rising cost of coffee beans is eating into my profits. Ah, <sighs> the rising costs are indeed affecting everyone. While we often hear about the CPI or Consumer Price Index, have you heard about the PPI or the Producer Price Index? The PPI measures price changes from a business's perspective, which can be more relevant to you. PPI? How is that different from CPI? Well, while CPI tracks consumer prices, the PPI measures the price changes for goods and services experienced by local producers and service providers. The PPIs compiled by the Singapore Department of Statistics include the Domestic Supply Price Index, Singapore Manufactured Products Price Index, and International Trade Price Indices for Commodities, as well as the Services Producer Price Indices by specific services industries. They are compiled monthly or quarterly from surveys of local businesses. So, what can these PPIs tell us? The PPIs provide a bird's eye view of cost trends across industries and commodities, offering businesses valuable data insights for monitoring and anticipating price changes. For example, an increase in the domestic supply price index for commodities such as coffee beans, sugar, and milk could signal potential cost increases, even if your supplier has yet to raise prices. This gives you a chance to plan ahead, such as seeking alternative suppliers if necessary. The use of PPI extends beyond buyers. From commodity suppliers, the PPI changes of these commodities can serve as a reference to help them set competitive prices. It's also important to consider services PPIs, such as the Sea Freight Transport Price Index. This can indicate changes in shipping costs for raw materials, which may indirectly affect your ingredient cost. I see. It sounds like PPIs are really useful for businesses. It's not just businesses. By analyzing the PPI and CPI together, policy analysts and economists can get a more comprehensive picture of inflationary pressures throughout the entire supply chain, from production to consumption. This can be a powerful tool for shaping economy policies. Wow, I've never realized PPIs had such broad applications. I'll pay more attention to it next time. Now, about your usual order, it costs 50 cents more now. How would you like to pay? Hmm, I will pay by card. Thank you. 